Okay, welcome to the third and the final episode of this series. I'm ending it right here for now. So in the previous video, we learned how to store RGB channels. Uh, sorry, in, inside of RGB channels, how to store these different channels. I added this alpha one recently, so I'm going to delete this. Uh, I do not know if it will let me delete it or not. But first things first, we need to add alpha channels because the ones we created previously, just right click here. I'm going to remove the alpha channel because it did not have any. It only has the RGB. If you want to store an alpha channel, it's pretty simple. Uh, you will need to create a new texture and right click on... Oh, okay, my bad. Hold on a second. I apologize. I kind of use a graphics tablet and it kind of messes up sometimes. Like It snaps on it like a click and it... See, this bullshit happens sometimes, so I apologize. I'm going to go back and layers. Hold on a second. Add tab. Which one disappeared? Channels. Okay. Again, I apologize. It, I, I kind of mess up sometimes, so I, I really apologize. So, anyways, I'm going to go back to layers. Get a new layer. Right click here, and uh, it won't have this. You will just need to hit add alpha channel, and it will have alpha channel. Because let's say for some reason you do not have an alpha channel, this is the error you can face. Like go to color and go to com component and decompose it. And then once you're decomposing it, you choose RGBA. And when you hit OK, it will say image is not suitable for decomposition because it has three channels. RGB, it does not have a fourth channel. You're trying to add a fourth channel. It just said here, alpha channel, you're going to get RGBA. And go back to your layers. You don't really have to go back to layers, but go to color, decomposition, sorry, components, and then choose decompose. And during the decompose, click here, choose RGBA, make sure make sure decompose, uh, decompose to layers is selected, hit OK. Now it's going to decompose your image into four layers. Now for an existing image, uh, okay, so what was I doing? So add alpha channel. Now you will see we have an alpha channel and you can do the same thing here. You can go to colors, uh, component and decompose. As you're decomposing it, you can choose RGBA. Make sure you choose RGBA and then hit OK. Yeah, you can see that here it has decomposed it into RGBA. Now let's say you need to store a texture in the alpha channel. So hold on a second. Uh, I kind of need to go back to my ice assets. OK, here I am. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see, I have like ton of textures here. So from a different texture channel, uh, I'm going to store this roughness texture inside the, wait a second, yeah, I'm going to take this roughness texture and store that in the alpha instead. Uh, again, if you have a proper, uh, I know this cannot, it, alpha textures don't work like this. Uh, since I don't have any alpha textures right now, or, or I didn't make any, you will take your original alpha texture that causes the masking, uh, drag and drop. It's going to load, same procedure as last time. Um, uh, merge to mer merge down to the visible one. It's gonna do it. Also, make sure that that your texture channel is actually up, like place somewhere here. If it's below that layer, it won't do the merge down, and make sure the rest are hidden. So yeah, here in our alpha we have this, in our blue we have this, in our G we have the normal map, in our R we have this. So let's try it out now. So uh, hold on a second, colors and component uh, compose. RGBA, hit OK. And here, as you can see, our texture channels are stored now. If I come here to my channels, uh, okay, you will see I've turned the alpha off, but you can see uh, in the R, we have our diffuse. Now, inside of GIMP, it's only going to show it like red, but make sure uh, I, can, uh, I can assure you, if you open this file inside Photoshop or inside Unreal Engine, it will show you for some reason Unity. And GIMP, uh, they only show you like a one color channel, but this is the whole texture stored inside this channel, so don't worry. So inside the R, we have our diffuse. In the G, we have our normal map. In the blue, we have this, uh, the, what's it called? Yeah, the, the specular. And it's not necessary that you have to store only these textures. You can like take your metallic texture, your emissive map. Just make sure that the size of the layers are the same. Like let's say one is 512, and one is 1024, your image won't compose. You will need to rescale your texture or like make them 
high quality again make sure each layer size is equal else gimp won't compose them and in our alpha we have it you can see like it convert it took the the black and the white values of this texture the roughness one and converted it into an alpha channel so i'm going to make all of these visible again and yeah you can see it's like working really well so i'm going to go to file and i will export this and uh let's go back to the hold on a second where should i save this uh hold on a second i'm gonna go to my uh where is it documents or pictures uh hold on a second okay i'm gonna go to pictures and inside of pictures i will take these the falcon of uh, the falconer folder i'm gonna name this test and i'm only saving this in the png and I'm going to hit export. And yeah, hold on a second. Let me see if it has alpha. I will just export it and then we can test. Okay, it's exporting it. Okay, so it was the Falconer folder. I'm going to go to pictures. Uh, Falconer, Falconer. Okay, yep, here it is. As you can see, our texture is here. Uh, I'm going to drag and drop this inside of GIMP to open. I do not know if it will open in GIMP or not. Uh, hold on a second okay yeah this is the texture we just made it opened in gimp so okay in our r channel we have this and our g channel we have the normal map in the blue channel we have this and in the alpha channel is this so this is the uh, the easiest and the correct method i found to pack to, to do the the channel packing in gimp i really hope these tutorials are helpful let me know in the comments so I should make more videos like this or not.